Welcome back. You have another episode of the RJ Heating Plumbing Channel. I know it needs a better name. A lot of them have cool names. So drop into the comments if you have a good name for what I can call it. Uh, a couple good jobs on here and I'm currently, I'm all messy because I am doing a boiler conversion which might be uploaded next week. I have done some footage for it. I didn't want to in the beginning. I just wanted to focus on the job, but couldn't help myself. So yeah, installers approaching. So watch this video, jump in the comments. Let me know what I can call this channel. If there is anything, maybe I just keep it as it is. And let me know if you're coming installer. Be good to meet up with some of you and let me know what you think of the jobs and what you would have done on the second one, especially. Um, yeah, the first one, someone is snaking the drain i don't know if that's the right term i don't do any drainage but yeah there's a snake thing making a lot of rattling in the drain but yeah so on this one we've got a Danfoss two channel programmer that's faulty but only needs a single channel so here we are gonna be putting that in so on the old one, we've got neutral live heating on four and neutral live heating on four. On the new one, neutral live, we need a common and heating on three. So nice, easy swap. There we go, all in daytime, already preset. We can just wag that on as they see fit. Pump kicks in. So that was a nice, easy, quick one. Nice one to start my day off. And is there anything notable? Oh, it's noisy. Uh, nothing notable with that one. Just single channel programmer swap. I don't know why there was a dual channel put in there. I'm sure someone had their reasons, probably lack of stock, but yeah, that's it. So next job of the day is one I went to a couple of days ago where the stats kept tripping, it's electric boiler. Um, reset them, lowered the temperature, but it's tripping again. So it could be a new element needed, or it could be, I can't find my mic, so, which is annoying because it's like brand new. Um, but yeah, so it could be that the plate needs cleaning out. So I'll do that first. And then if not, we'll replace the element, get one of them ordered up. So let's have a look. Never done a plate on this. It's the Daxum 12 EDM. So we are back at one of these where the overheats keep dripping on the element. Could be the element, but first things first, we're going to descale the plate. So I'll get that out, put some one shot in there, see how we go. A little leak as well, looks like, from the flow. This definitely takes the biscuit on the most difficult plate to replace. So I don't know if you can see that right at the back. So you have to disconnect everything, which I'm in the process of, and take out the whole manifolds to do it. That made a Worcester look easy. So I've had to cut that pipe, disconnect the filter, undo all the screws, everything. But here we are. What a nightmare that is. Just went back to the van to get a coupling. But that pipe I had to cut. But yeah, everything had to come out. Um, hopefully it goes in. Gives, definitely gives Worcester a run for its money. Let's see what this plate's doing. So 
giving it a bash, clean out with some one shot. Yeah, it's definitely muck coming out of it. So hopefully, it's mad how hot this um, chemical makes it. You can feel the reaction just going. So it's a lot clearer now. That was completely brown. So hopefully, it looks like the cold side now. Well, hot side, you know, the water side, not system side. So we're back on. It's funny, I've just realized I can hook this up here. Normally I try and balance it somewhere. <laughs> so it keeps coming up with E5 in the display, which is generally a flow meter issue. So I've got to take off them four screws. And there's a little magnet or something in there that gets stuck, so I'm told. So yeah, why don't we have a look? Flymeter it is. So the plot thickens at the back there. And as you can see, you've got some dip switches and a switch number three to on, which is an override for the flow meter. And now it's working. Just waiting for it to actually get hot. It's starting to get warm. They are such a strange boiler, those Daxum. They're quite basic to be honest, but there's a few things on there that are just unnecessarily difficult, I would say. Um, yeah, but that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Was a fun one to film. No, it wasn't actually. That plate was a pain in the backside. Everything had to come out. Um, but yeah, don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share, you name it. And jump in the comments if you can think of a name for the channel. Or, I don't even know if I'm going to change my name, but be fun to see what people suggest. And let me know if you're going installer. Keep banging on about it, but probably will until it happens. We'd like to do some filming there with some brands. So let me see if there's, um, let me know if there's anyone you're interested in seeing. If you can't make it up, but you'd like to see something, and I'll see if maybe I can film with them and do something with them. That also might be fun to take requests. Uh, that's it. Again, like, share, comment, subscribe, all the rest. And see you next week.